Hello everyone, welcome back to Stoneheart Me Banto. So in the latest episode we were working a little bit on our harbor that we're building down here. And uh, since this episode I've been uh, changing the house we had in the water. So this is what I come up with so far. The building is not fully, fully done yet. But I changed it to be like as a kind of a crane house. So we do have this crane. And I thought it would be fun if we put some crates on it and uh, a chest there. So I think it looks pretty cool actually. It's kind of fun to see something like this. I don't know why, but something like this make it feel a little bit more realistic, a little bit more alive than if it would just be a little rope kind of going down there. The idea is that this one will be lifting up goods from ships and so on. That goes into this building that is not fully done yet, but I've been doing a few little tweaks on it. I started to do a little bit of stairs here, so you get up here. And I think this thing was kind of fun as well. So it is like a little thing you go up on here instead of having it go straight there. So up here you go over the road and people can go under this thing. So I think that was a pretty fun way of doing it. I hope you guys like it. So that is something that we should be building not too far from now. I think the harbor itself, we're probably going to do that before we do this one. As we have that done. But currently we are building our big big house here which has a huge chimney as you can see. And uh, I see that it didn't texture it much down here, but I guess it doesn't matter. I might change it later when I share the template so it's uh, fully textured for you guys. So you guys can get the full, full quality of it. So we're back again, I guess, to look out uh, to try to find some uh, mutton, either from our cheeps. And we also do need to find some Varanus meat, but at the moment we still need to capture some cheeps and... Uh, Varanus. I haven't seen Varanus in a very, very long time. I'm also gonna make sure with a cook that we are not spending it, but we can't really prevent our people from not eating it. So if they eat it, nothing we can do. If they want to eat raw Varanus meat, they will do so. So sometimes they do spawn these little camps that has some Varanus around, and with those we could probably get a pretty good amount of meat. That would be awesome. I don't see any, but I do see this camp over here, which I might want to go and break. So let's send our troops over there. Make sure we toggle the job on so we will fight them. A trader approaches your town. Hello, Arma. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two. If you're interested, yeah, I will make you 10 simple wooden share and I get one plushy toy rabbit. Probably a very cute rabbit, but it's it is not worth the effort. Not worth the effort. So I'm not going to do that one. They keep building here and I also have, I didn't say it in the last episode, but I have these two supply tables. I tried to fill this up with uh, stone and wood and uh, to make it hopefully work even better, I went inside here and I take uh, some of the people that are building like Asterix and Blockidas and I change this to their build, but they don't do hauling, so that means that they shouldn't be refilling this thing and more focus on the building side instead of my... We, meanwhile, some other people will be dropping off some wood and stone there, so I think that's going to be probably the most efficient way of doing it. I do see that our copper just seems to be using it as well, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, we should get some nice uh, profession houses, guys. It has been taking a while. The only real kind of profession house we really got is for the blacksmith, which isn't even a house, it's inside of the mountain here. So this is currently where the blacksmith is working, but it's a pretty nice corner. We could make it a little bit more beautiful, change the ground a little bit, would be nice. But it's going to be a lot of work to move everything out and back in and so on. So I think we will not focus on that thing for now. Since we had the spring now, we should probably have grown some crops. That would be nice. I don't think we have a farmer though. Let's see, how are we doing with food? It's pretty decent, we don't have a huge amount of food. Let's see how much jerky we got. I think we had a lot of them last time. Okay, so it seems like we've been pretty good on spending the jerk. I have a lot of herbs. So let's see, did our souls get over here? Oh, okay, nice. So it looks like we're breaking. No battle music, no intense music for us when we're fighting. <laughs> there we go, there it comes, intense music. And there we maybe heard a horn from our tank there. So that's a new thing for Ace. Instead of us having it uh, like an ability, it actually do sound, which is pretty awesome. So this was a pretty easy fight, right? Nothing much going on there, really. 
don't think we even have our herbalist, uh, our cleric. I think he went back or something. Or maybe been super slow. Let's see what the herbalist is doing. The cleric, I mean, of course. Uh, let's see then. Where are you, Mr. Cleric? Chasing. Oh, that took a long time for you to get here, man. What is his body? Six body. That should move pretty quick, right? That's kind of strange when it's going so slow. Let's see how we do with resources. We might be spending a lot. Uh, we're definitely running low on wood, so we need to gather more wood. Stone is also getting very low. We have the amount we need. It says so, but we will also need to do some furniture. And uh, it will be spent some, so we should try to do some chopping wood. I planted this forest uh, a few episodes ago to get a little bit more wood that would be close to us. And we should probably plant in some new trees, just so we fill it in with new trees when these are chopped down. I do like to mix it a little bit. I just think it looks better than just having one type of tree. It looks kind of boring. Let's plant some more of these highland vines. Would it be cool? Let's try to do it at one of our houses and see how that's gonna climb up on the house there. This is our, one of our storage houses. And over here we might want to do at least one here. That should do pretty awesome. I kind of feel like I want to put out the Amberstone Mason pedestal, even though we already have one. It would be kind of nice to have it put out. So I wonder, is the Mason working here? Yes, he is. So let's drop it here. And another thing we can do, since we have our a lot of workbench currently here still, what we can do if we have another one of those supply tables, one similar item we could... Uh, Take that one and try to always keep that one busy with stone. But it looks like we do not have that at the moment, so let's go and um, we can make some either with the, the maze or the copper. And I think I will do the carpenter because we have a little bit more wood. So we're gonna make the wooden supply crate, supply container for a quicker crafting. So I'm gonna make like eight of those so we have them sitting around here. That should be good. Let's see what kind of foods we have at the moment. I feel like we're dropping kind of low on food. Okay, so we can probably do a lot with the fish. We have fish are doing a great job. We got a lot of fresh crab and a lot of fish that we can, can cook up and big fresh fish. So quite a lot of things we can still do things with. And uh, we're able to do both cooking with the fisher and also with our cook. But let's get our fisher to do some cooking because it's nice if the fisher can do a little bit more work. So. I'm gonna put the maintain 50, which is a pretty high amount, but it's gonna be doable. And I'm not sure if I want to maintain the crabs. I think there's little reason to maintain them since we don't have any coconuts. And as far as I've seen, this is the only thing you can actually do food with the fresh crab. So maybe we want to switch that, or maybe the cook have a kind of food. Let's see here. Crab omelette. It would be if we got eggs and then we can do an omelette. That would be nice. A crab cake could also be possible. A patty flaked or minced crab meat. Typically served fried. This one should give quite a good amount of uh, food. Um, I suppose it will. Considering it requires egg and flour and crab. So quite a lot of things and high level of cooking. So I wonder if we should... See here, we still have some bunnies. Maybe it's fast if we... let's see, because I want to switch these guys out. And there's not really the grass I want to move, so let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe it's better if we just remove like that. Do we get a new pasture going? And uh, for this one, let's take to have some chickens. We want to maintain, let's say, eight of them. That should give us a pretty good amount of eggs and harvest renewables. So we will harvest the uh, eggs whenever. And this one, we will try to keep some uh, chips in this one. And um, let's try to maintain four. And we will go and harvest uh, the two left of the six ones. If we're able to get it, let's see what our shepherd is doing. It might be overkill 
to have two of uh, pastures for one shepherd, so. That is not an sheep, that's for sure. That's a bitsy spider. Maybe you can make some wool for us, some uh, cobweb. So maybe we would have needed to have like another shepherd to be able to handle this, because my one might be too little. I never had like two pastures, I think, for one shepherd, but we will see, I guess. Relisha, uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, we sent her to a mission to the Amberstone Bunnies. So that's why it's saying nothing there. I kind of want to go and uh, make my Leric to be a herbist for a while. And the reason for that is that uh, I saw we had a lot of herbs, so I might as well try to make some potions while we're not in like combat and stuff, so it should be hopefully decent and safe to do it right now. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna see. We have to do some bandages, so we're gonna skip that one because I don't think we need that one, do we? Or maybe we do, let's see. Nope. So the Varanus meat is gonna be real hard, the mutton's gonna be decent hard, not too hard, and rabbit jerk is also not gonna be too hard. Yes, I'm gonna need to get the Varanus meat. I would like to have like Varanus meat. Do not touch this one. Because this one is going to the font fire. But I want to eat. Let me eat some Varanus meat. My favorite raw meat. Yes. And uh, let's see. Let's get ahead and uh, do some gold flakes. We can do a lot of them. Let's, so let's do that. Borrowed time. Here is your town person back safe and sound. I think they found a change in the scenery to be invigorating, and we certainly found them to be quite helpful. Reputation, reputation increased, and your citizens is in high spirit. Welcome back, Trilicia. Welcome, welcome back. So let's go ahead and do the thing I wanted to do inside of here. So we're gonna start with doing some energy tonics, and uh, gonna do ten of those. That's gonna be fifty herbs. And let's do some stamina one, another 50 herbs, and let's do... I guess we can spend skins, we only need meat, so let's do four of those, and then we're gonna do five of the strength, and then we can use these in combat if we need them later on. Which uh, might be helpful later on. Cotton seeds, separate seeds for fiber. I kinda wanna try to make that, and I think I never made cotton seeds, let's do that, we can make three of those. So let's try to get some merchants. I'm still not sure if uh, we can get the merchants I'm looking for as a tier 2 town. Like, I'm looking for Varanus meat. I know I have seen it in the past from a merchant. I'm pretty sure I have seen that. It might be that it's a pretty rare one. Some rune stones. That would be cool, right? And they are pretty awesome. They've been updated, so they look quite a lot different. I'm gonna get... Let's go... Let's go four. Let's get all of them. Let's sell some stuff. I guess I can sell some of these fishes. Okay, there we go, there we go. So, no Varan's meat this time either. That's sad. Let's see if we can get Asterix down. I don't think he wants to be stuck up here. So, okay, can't use that at the moment. Normally when people get stuck you can click this thing and you can teleport them down. Or if they get stuck you can also press Ctrl C and type in teleport while having Harfling selected and just do it like that. And he will run off again and have a good time and not be stuck anymore. Yeah, let's maybe have a good time there resting a little bit and see this one is stuck. Well, happens sometimes that these things get stuck like that. So I feel a little bit stuck really with the Varanus meat. Like, I, I feel like there's no real good way to get it. Like, either they have to the spawn is. Um, Words of Varanus or some random Varanus, but they doesn't really happen anymore, it feels like. Or we have to get a merchant that I'm not even sure they exist, so it's um, 
It's a pretty very weird odd uh, progression for the font file, I would say. I don't know what you guys think about it. I think it's really weird. I don't like the Varanus part. I see they got some uh, wolves and a goblin up there. So let's go deal with them. I'm gonna scout around a little bit more to see if they might have something far away from us. Oh, there's a big, big uh, stone golem. Okay, I, I guess we'll see if if I can't find an Varanasis, I'm just gonna spawn one in, so we don't have to wait for the game to decide to finally spawn something. So let's get them up here. This should be easy fight, so we shouldn't need any cleric or anything. This should be really, really easy. Roloff is probably gonna bonk them down pretty easily. I hope so, at least. A dealing good amount of damage. Roll of the Goblin Crusher. Why did he get that title from killing an wolf though? <laughs> I guess those uh, goblin wolves count as goblins or something, maybe? Yeah, there we go, the camp is down, nice. So let's see for our engineer also. What level do we have? Level 3 engineer, so we definitely want to level Jack Frost up, so the next level we will be getting... Oh, nothing special the next level, but level 5? Then in here can I craft items of excellent quality and make fine quality items more often. But it's really level 6 that we want to have, because this one we can place up to 12 traps and 8 turrets, which is pretty pretty amazing. So let's see if we can craft something to level up pretty much. And the way you want to do when you level up is to look at uh, this thing here. The level of the thing you want to craft, because the higher the level is, the more experience it will give pretty much. So making these gears over and over, that's not going to give very much. But many of these things do require gears. Doing an clam trap might give quite a bit of experience and I would definitely want to have those. So I'm gonna put to make eight of those, which is quite many. And we can also do some of these axle. I haven't really used these yet, but uh, there's a machine mechanism thing that we... I think we can make like some pumps and stuff to move water with it. So copper water gate, horizontal axle, vertical, gearbox, copper water pump and greater water gate. But there's some stuff you can do, and uh, these things are also pretty cool. This might be something actually worth doing, not too hard to do. And it should give a decent amount of XP, and we might use it as well later on. Or we can do this one, Steel Lock. Yeah, let's see, level 2. That should be pretty good. Let's maybe do like... Let's do like 8 of those. And let's check out the blacksmith. He's probably quite busy forging and melting and everything. Uh, looks like we're low on good grade fuel, but we can solve that pretty easily. We can go and uh, craft a piece of charcoal. And each of these gives 8 each, so if we would do 10 craft, that would be 8 of charcoal. So um, let's do like 8 of them maybe. Put that to the top, hold shift to do that when crafting. So that should give us some nice fuel. We can still do tin ingot uh, because we have any common fuel though. But uh, I don't know, it feels like my blacksmith like to bug out. As you can see this thing, it looks like they tried to craft that thing. It was green on both of them, but they're, they're actually not doing this one. I'm not sure why it happens, but sometimes it just feels uh, better and safer to just go in and remove some things. The steel ingots, as you can see, require quite a quite a bit of uh, fuel, good grade fuel, piece of charcoal, and all the iron ingots. So this is an craft that do require quite a bit of stuff, really. So do let me know, guys. Do you guys think I should spawn in some uh, Varanus or Varanus meat just so we can hopefully finish that sometime? Because I would love to do so, but I'm getting a bit tired of the waiting for the game at the moment with it. Uh, 
And let's clean up a few of these ladders. Like this house is coming along pretty nicely. Nice, we have a few more defenses to put out, very nice. Hopefully we can cover the entire animal pasture now. I guess in the back we can leave it open and maybe the animals can go and take a bath sometime. <laughs> Get a little bit of water. Oh, there was something in the water there. Hello, little fishy. So we end it like that. And we can put some here, I guess, as well. Maybe it will look a little bit better if we do so. Even more fences to split them up. A weaver is here. Um, I wonder, let's see what the shepherd is doing. I really want to get some more animals. Bromley restocking items. Why is he restocking? I want you to do some animal capturing. I want you to find some sheep in the woods. Finding strays, nice. I wonder if you should take one of our trappers and make to be an shepherd. I guess we can do that for a bit, just for fun. Nothing too much to lose. Hopefully we're not gonna drop too much in food. But let's give it a go. It's gonna level very slow since the Canadian is uh, level 6 trapper, so it's gonna take a very, very long time to level. And look at that, we got some energy tonics, so we can speed up our people, pretty awesome. And if we want to, we can even take that thing and we'll out to reuse it whenever the cooldown goes off, so we can keep energy tonics going all the time if we want. Yeah, a few more crafts to be done here. I wanna make some, maybe some... I can only make one, though. Let's make one flower, I guess. Let's do a few more energy tonics so we can spend some of that uh, herb. Canadian level 1 shepherd. I wonder how it's gonna work with uh, a Canadian now when he's like a level 1 shepherd if he will be able to capture animals that um, he shouldn't be able to capture because one of our trappers, one of our shepherds, I mean, is uh, high level. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Okay, this looks like we got one sheep. I'm gonna change this one to rabbit pens. Yes, because then we are sure that he can capture them. Let's see, where's our little sheep? Ooh, there it is. Long wool sheep. Hello, so fluffy. It eats greens and sometimes cuddle. Very nice. Fluffy, fluffy sheep. Look at him. So fluffy. Very nice. And I think when we ha when we start to get like a couple of sheep, they will reproduce together, and uh, hopefully that will save our shepherds some time, so they don't have to go to the wild all the time. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stone Hearth. I hope you guys enjoyed, and do let me know what you thought about my new crane house. Uh, I will keep working on this one, improving it, so we have a nice house there. But I think it's a nice addition because. It looks so different compared to other houses and it has this like a little bit of a tallness to it. I think it's an interesting extra addition to the town. But guys, thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. And if you want to make sure you don't miss the next video, subscribe and also hit the bell to get notified by YouTube. So thanks for watching and see you next time everybody.